Lots of programming is about reusability and I wondered if I could reuse a UI table view cell and use it like a UI image, say just straight in a UI view controller. And this video is about being able to do just that. So what I'm trying to do is reuse the table view cell as a standard view. So for example, I have this table here and you click on James and I'd like to see James here. In fact, I'd like the style of this to be a cell that looks exactly the same as this. So if I look through my code here, I'm programmatically raising a navigation controller and a UI view controller, which isn't too interesting in that it just has the standard UI table view controller stuff in it, the delegate and data source. And I'm just using the names as an array there and feeding it to the cell, which is a subclass cell, which is profile table view cell. And we set that up with the particular name. And the cell itself, we're just setting up the chevron view and the man view, which is just a profile. And we're setting up the name. Now to do so, we obviously have a nib file and that nib file also isn't too thrilling. It has a UI image view and another UI image view and a label in the middle. I suppose there's a circular view to make this circular. All this code will be in the repo, but there's nothing hopefully too thrilling surprising here. And there's a detail view controller, which is just that blue box. And what I'd like is that blue box to actually be a UI table view cell, or in fact, what I'm going to show you now is it's going to be a UI view that's reused between the cell and that kind of container view. So I've made some changes here to the table view cell. This setup function now just passes the configure function along, basically passes the name string along to this profile view which I've set up an outlet for. And that profile view is just here and it's just kind of a container view. And that profile view is in a separate nib and a separate file. And it's this one which is going to recreate the UI view and it's going to look, well, completely the same as the one contained in the table view cell. It's not doing anything different within the profile view file than used to happen in profile table view cell. The nib is just how the table view cell used to work. Uh, sorry, used to look. So it's the same elements, the UI image view, the label and the UI image view. And we're still referencing this circular view. So this profile view, there is in fact something different going on. We're loading the nib file from the bundle here and setting the frame and the bounds. But apart from that, it's kind of the same actions happening. So what's happened is we're reusing this profile view. So then in the detail view controller, which is here, we can use exactly the same profile view. Now the kind of tricky thing is this will work if we're raising it from programmatically or from the storyboard. And it doesn't matter because within profile view, I've used both initializers, the frame, which is the programmatic version and coder, which would work from the storyboard. And so when we click on any face, it goes here and the image looks exactly the same. So any change I make for the table view cell is reflected in the view because in fact, we're just changing the view and Reusing code bases, hey, it's really important. So, by reusing views in this way, it means, even in this little example, if you wanted to change how the cells looked, it would change how the view looked because it's using the same underlying view. If you're using the same UI table view cell in multiple places in your code, then you'd only have to change them in one place. This really makes a lot of sense when you have a larger code base. I hope this video has been of help to you, and I'll see you next time.